All right guys, today we got the LG Velvet versus the A52. Remember, if I have the phone, you wanna see a comparison, drop it in the comments down below, and I'll try to get to it in a timely fashion. Uh, so, these two, if you're picking between these two phones, so, they're both 300 bucks, so you're spending about the same, um, and I'll have those links down below. But, these two phones are kinda different for, depending on who you are and what you're doing on your phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and break it down. So, hardware-wise, uh, you do have a more premium design on the Velvet, but the A52 does have a pretty nice build quality. I do like this design a lot. Uh, you do have a matte finish on here, even though you know it's an all-plastic phone, but it still looks really good. Um, and it doesn't pick up fingerprints, which is something that I love. I love the camera module, um, power button, volume rockers. Uh, you also have headphone jack, USB-C, and stereo speakers on this guy. So overall, it feels you know solid in the hand, but it's not going to beat the Velvet's you know premium design, being a you know glass and metal phone. Um, so it's just not going to beat it. But uh, the Velvet, depending on which color you, you get, if you get this color, this one picks up a ton of fingerprints and stuff like that. Um, you know, which can be annoying if you're shooting video or whatever. Uh, but I do love the like the descending little camera module thing. I think that looks really cool. Uh, overall, I've always thought this phone was. Uh, uh, really nice and unique looking phone uh, power button you also have your headphone jack unfortunately no quad deck USB-C this phone has stereo speakers volume rockers Google Assistant button right here as well so for hardware you know I'm not gonna lie and say a plastic phone is gonna feel better uh, than a glass and metal phone uh, the velvet does feel a lot more premium and plus it's IP68 dust and water resistant uh, the a52 does have a water resistant, but it's IP67, which is not bad at all. Um, so yeah, so for hardware, I definitely uh, give it to the Velvet uh, here. Now, getting into both phones is pretty solid. So you have an under the display fingerprint sensor on both. So it's very fast on the A52, and it's also pretty fast on the Velvet. So I don't think one is faster than the other. But with the A52, you have face unlock, and on the Velvet, you don't have any type of face unlock, uh, which sucks. So you do have more ways of getting into your phone on the A52 here. All right, so as far as display quality on here, you're getting two different type of displays, pretty much, or uh, the specs on the displays are, are kind of different. So you do have on the A52 a smaller uh, 6.5 inch display. It is a Super AMOLED display, and it is 90 hertz. Uh, 407 for the PPI uh, 1080p resolution completely flat panel and on the velvet here you have a more curved panel and it's a much taller phone at 6.8 inches so it's a very big phone uh, it's also a P OLED display 1080p 395 for the PPI so pretty much matched in resolution but um, I do prefer the A52's display because you do have a flat panel as opposed to this curved panel and then you have a punch hole as opposed to the notch on the velvet. Um, but um, it really depends on if you're using a dual screen case or not. So this, this is where it gets interesting with the displays because the velvet does have dual screen case capabilities to be able to make it have two screens uh, so you can do have a you know ultimate multitasking experience and you do not have that on the A52 of course. And um, yeah, so the reason why I, I'm not, I've never been really into the dual screen case thing. I've always preferred like the high refresh rate, um, you know, sort of way. So I do like the smoothness of the A52's display. And also I do prefer like the flatter display. Uh, you do have like a bit of a curve on here. Uh, so you can get sometimes accidental touches, but I don't really get them a lot on the Velvet. So as far as display, it really depends on if you want a dual screen display and a much bigger display, but with no... Uh, high refresh rate this display you get a high refresh rate but as far as display quality they both pretty much look identical they're both very good looking displays honestly so just going over the specs on uh, the A52 we have Android 11 with One UI 3.1 the Snapdragon 720G Adreno 618 micro SD support and 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM on the Velvet, we have uh, upgradable to Android 11, but this one is on Android 10, Snapdragon 765G, and then the Adreno 620 micro SD support, 128 gigs of storage, and 6 gigs of RAM. As you can see, the Velvet is going to beat out the A52 and the Geekbench scores, which basically means if you are somebody that's focused on performance and, uh, you know, especially trying to game a little bit on your phone, the Velvet is going to outdo the A52. Uh, so if you're playing PUBG, Call of Duty, whatever, uh, it will be a better experience on the Velvet. In addition, you get that dual screen display, but let's see opening applications. 
pretty much a tie there. Try YouTube. 852. Um, let's actually try game. And like I said, with opening applications, the 852 looks like it's going to be doing a much better job. But once we get into like PUBG and gaming and stuff, then you'll see that the A52 isn't going to do as good as a job uh, as the Velvet. So like I said, it's more geared towards gaming. But as you can see, extremely fast um, on both of these guys. Um, but the Velvet looks like it's going to be faster just opening your everyday applications here. I mean, not the Velvet, the A52. So, both of these phones have stereo speakers and I've actually never heard them side by side, so let's actually see which one sounds uh, better, starting with the Velvet. Okay, the Velvet is definitely louder, but I think the A52 has the clearer sound here, especially with the mids and highs and the bass. Uh, well, not really with the bass, but it does get a little bit, um, it thumps a little bit harder than the Velvet, but the Velvet overall is louder, but I think sound quality, I would give it to the A52. Um, so yeah. All right, let's check out the toggles. So both of these phones have NFC. So if you're trying to do mobile payments, uh, you got a check mark there. Uh, you also have uh, on the Velvet, let's see, uh, Comfort View, Live Caption, uh, Screen Recording is on here, Screen Sharing is on here, File Sharing. Uh, we have pretty much the same stuff on the A52, Screen Recording, Link to Windows. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff, Smart View. Oh, you do have secured folders on the A52. So that's one of the things with One UI if you want to hide stuff, um, basically, uh, or hide applications on your phone, then you have secured folders on here. But as far as like your little features and stuff like that, I don't see any uh, screen sharing toggles on here on the um, A52. So yeah, so those are your toggles on uh, both of these phones. All right, let's discuss uh, the camera situation. So on the A52 you have uh, more cameras. You have a quad camera setup, a 64 megapixel standard, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and then a 5 megapixel depth sensor shoots in 4K, and then a 32 megapixel selfie that also shoots in 4K. And I really like the pictures on the A52. Uh, they are really, really good for a mid-ranger. Uh, now, as far as, you know, compared to the Velvet, um, I think that they both pretty much are even. The Samsung, what I noticed, it does do like more saturated colors or colors that aren't necessarily real. Uh, you do get more detail in lower light situations, but as far as like, you know, your daytime photos, these phones are taking pretty much the same photos. Um, so you do have on the Velvet a 48 megapixel standard, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and then a 5 megapixel depth. There is no macro lens on uh, the um, you know velvet uh, you do have 4k video with a 16 megapixel selfie but I'm also uh, really impressed with the velvet's cameras I think it takes also a uh, really good photos as well and one of the things like you know I highlighted is natural colors I love natural colors um, so that is one thing the velvet does really great depth of field detail is there uh, the ultra wide is there so you're getting two really good cameras on both of these phones uh, whichever one you decide to go with just know that um, you know, the color science is going to be different and you're missing a macro lens on the Velvet. Now, as far as the battery situation here, so uh, you do have just more features as far as like the battery department goes on the Velvet. So you do have a 4,300 milliamp battery with 20, 25 watt fast charging and then you have wireless charging as well. Uh, so on the A52, you have a 4,500 milliamp battery, so slightly bigger battery with 25 watt uh, fast charging as well but with no wireless charging so 
the Bellway has wireless charging, the A52 does not. So keep that into consideration if you're somebody that uses wireless charging a lot. Uh, so that is pretty much it. Which phone do you guys prefer? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.